Hi, this is Denise from Paint and Party. I'm going to demonstrate how to remove professional face paints, but I wanted to give you some tips before I show the video. Um, these are professional face paints and not acrylics like you might see at a free face painting booth. Um, if, if you see acrylics, walk the other way because they have been known to cause reactions um, on children. Don't scrub or use harsh chemicals on the skin. Um, we're going to use the softest washcloth we can to do this and you can also use tear-free baby shampoo It works really well to remove the paint In the video the dark colors came off really easy But if you do have a shadow left over after you've washed off the paint you can use like a hand lotion to help lift it um, If you get paint on your clothing or you want to clean your washcloth ivory hand soap or those little hotel soaps that you know you bring home for vacation will work really well. And now for the demo, and I'll show you just how easy it is to remove even dark face paint from you or your child. Hi, this is Denise from Paint and Party. I am going to give you tips on how to clean your child when they come home looking like... <laughs> no, look at the mirror. Oh. This, okay. Whether you have a tiger face or a pirate or anything like you that. Look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to look in the mirror and talk to the camera. <laughs> anyway, I'm well, I'm gonna do what I call the lather lift. And the biggest mistake I think that people make and why face painters get in trouble <laughs> is they try to scrub the crap out of their child's face using Something like this ugly dish rag, okay? Throw that away. No! <laughs> okay. Or even a crappy, like, washcloth that has the nubbies on it. No. Stop. <laughs> so, what I would prefer that you use is like a soft washcloth, even like a baby washcloth or a microfiber washcloth. And I even found this chamois at the dollar store that makes a really nice wash. We're going to use this uh, microfiber one, though, because it's colored, so... Anyway, and then we're going to do what we call the lather lift. Okay, I'm just using this foaming hand soap. And I should have washed this. <laughs> I got it wet ahead of time. But we're going to put the lather on the paint first to lift it so that you don't basically reactivate it and repaint their face all the colors and push the colors inside. So I've got a nice little bit of lather. And you can do the same thing with bar soap. Um, just lathered up on your washcloth and so what we're going to do I mean, normally we'd lean over the sink a little bit we're just going to come in and lather up the design okay and once you've lifted up all that paint it will wash off it'll wipe off or you could just rinse it off but for demonstrations for so wherever I didn't lather it is where it's not coming off so I'm going to put a little bit more lava and I'm just going in circles I'm not scrubbing I'm not pressing all I'm doing is trying to lift the paint so the paint bonds with the lather what you can't, see it. can't see what okay so I'm not scrubbing other than just going in circles to try and bond the soap with the paint so let's do the other side. Maybe I'll use the bar soap this time. You can see it will work with bar soap. It doesn't have to be hand soap. Okay. So I just took bar soap and put a little bit on the washcloth. So let's see. Can you see that? Let's get over a little bit this way. There. Okay. So here again, I'm just going in with the lathered up washcloth. Trying to avoid our eyes, right? Because the soap will do worse than the paint. The paint will hurt our eyes. Okay, so now the design is all lathered up. So let's go to a clean part of the washcloth and wipe it away. If you try to use baby wipes or just rinse the paint off, it'll just mean that you'll have to wash their face again. This method is really quick and clean, and now she can just rinse her face off and everything should come off. Now the only time, oops, <laughs> sorry about that. So the only time I've had trouble getting face paint off of me is when I have like black or a color around my eyes. And so I'm 
so I'm going to show you how to do that. A little teeny bit of uh, the lotion on the Q-tip and then it'll go on the eye line. So just, no, like underneath your eye where it sticks, where the paint kind of goes in. I think that will work better, although you can use petroleum jelly. I like the lotion a little bit more because it doesn't tend to like seep into your eyes like uh, like the baby oil or petroleum would. And so that's how you get the black off.